Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here, and in this video we'll be looking at the so-called Duke's Castle, an abandoned house in the small desert town of Van Horn, Texas. Couldn't find a lot of history on this place. Most sources agree it was built in 1910 by a prominent local builder named John E. Cox. I did find a very detailed history published on the Culberson County Facebook page, but to be honest, it seemed pretty unbelievable with separate tales of a poisoned child, a murder, and a mysterious foreign duke. I couldn't verify any of it, and there weren't many actual dates listed, but I'll include a link in the description if you want to go check that out. I couldn't even find out when it was left empty or how long it's been in ruins, although the last sale date of the property mentioned on the Facebook story was the early 1970s. One of the first things I noticed as I approached this old Victorian-style gate was the similarity to this photo that I shot a world away in Massachusetts. But of course, being that we're in the Lone Star State, the finials are all stars. If you'll notice, someone made a repair to the top left corner using cinder blocks. And you can't see it well in the video, but there are rather ghostly looking handprints all over the red bricks on the ends. Looks like someone made them with dust or mud. Watch for them in the photos at the end. Some of those handprints are in really hard to reach places, even along the top high edge of the wall. Those round turrets were additions to the house made by the Duke, whose name was Umberto de Autry. He left town with a lot of unpaid debts. One of the theories is that the Duke burned the house for the insurance money. Later the same day, the light changed, so I came back to the house to get a few more shots of it in the gray light. In the end, my favorite image is focused on the fence, which is a theme I can see being a good seller on my website because uh, the photos are simple and iconic. I shot quite a few images of that fence.
In this shot, I really like the swoop curve of the metal around the star. And this is my favorite. It makes me wonder what happened in the history of this house that these wrought iron spirals are bent like that. It just seems like a very random kind of damage. I'd like to know the backstory. In this shot, you can really see the handprints. I like this one with the cactus growing inside the window too. Thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to visit my website, keepdotson.com.